759 in Southern California. Uh, you are looking live at a pursuit. Mark Kono and Sky 5 HD over the scene. Mark, where are you? Franco, we are just coming out of Montebello and in towards Monterey Park. I just spoke with the Sheriff's Air Unit, and this apparently is a low-jack stolen vehicle here. Now, this was initially located in the El Monte area, the Sheriff's uh, Air 7. Wow, narrowly missing uh, a car that was just turning left here. We are on Pomona Boulevard westbound over towards Atlantic. He's coming up on a major intersection here. I'm just on the south side of uh, the 60 at Atlantic. Uh, going through the intersection here, and he's going to be making a left turn southbound, left turn southbound on Atlantic as he makes his way uh, through the East LA area here, away from Monterey Park, and it looks like he might be setting up for a right-hand turn. He does not. It looks like he's going to be going straight through the intersection, southbound on Atlantic. Uh, he's going to be coming into the City of Commerce here, but it looks like it's a female, a female who may be, uh, in fact, on the phone here, a stolen vehicle suspect, as well as a stolen vehicle. We believe Leave only one person in the car at this point, but you saw that close-up shot uh, from Eliana Moreno, our Sky 5 photographer here. But uh, again, uh, a female driving this vehicle southbound on Atlantic, essentially in towards the city of Commerce and the 5 freeway here. The LA County Sheriff's Department airship uh, basically tracking this low jack out of El Monte and uh, uh, basically uh, uh, trying to make a stop on this uh, via the ground unit. Uh, the ground unit apparently tried to make the stop and the person fled, and this is what we have right now. She is coming Coming into some heavy, heavy traffic here, weaving in and out, and you can see driving very evasively as we come up uh, on a major intersection. Let's see what she does. She has, uh, you know, she's kind of boxed in right now. We have one person who's in front of her, and uh, that person is essentially waiting at the red light, uh, and that person is being forced out of the way, essentially. Let's see. Uh, Wow. Oh, my. Okay, so she decides to slightly uh, give her the nudge there and push her out of the way. But southbound on Atlantic, uh, over towards the 5 freeway here. So we are now coming into the city of Commerce here in on Atlantic Boulevard. We'll be coming up on the Mixmaster here in about uh, a block or two. The Mixmaster is uh, just on the uh, north side of the 5 freeway here where all of these streets come together here. But she's going to be coming up on a major intersection where she actually chooses not to break through the red light. She makes a right-hand turn. I think this is uh, going to be perhaps Washington. Uh, but we'll get some confirmation here. But again, westbound on Washington heading over towards uh, this, uh, the 710 freeway at this point. Guys, Olympic. Okay. All, All right. right. Uh, Mark Hoda wants to bring people up to date if you're just joining us. Uh, this police pursuit happening right now. A very dangerous situation. We believe it started in El Monte. Reports of a stolen car. We do believe there's a female at the wheel of this car. There could possibly be a passenger in the vehicle as and well. And we're saying East yeah. LA okay. here, but the last, the last locator, the car did go through East LA, but it was also in Commerce was the last uh, locator that Mark gave us. Uh, the cars you can see moving very quickly. Uh, during a rush hour period. Yes, it is Veterans Southbound, Day. Southbound in the residential. So folks okay. are uh, off today, but uh, uh, but there are other people who are working yeah, and uh, driving very recklessly and dangerously. Mark, it, it, with this new angle, is it possible to see if there is a passenger in that uh, vehicle? It does look like it. Indeed, it looks like there yeah. may be a passenger, and it looks like they've just made uh, the right-hand turn along Telegraph, and they'll be coming across the 710 freeway uh, here momentarily. So there, are, there is the 710 overpass, uh, essentially paralleling the 5 freeway. So off of Telegraph, uh, parallel the 5 freeway northwestbound. They were on Olympic for a little bit here. She's coming up on a major intersection once again. That is going to be Olympic. She, wow, oh, oh. my goodness, goes right through it. Uh, oh my gosh, okay, just uh, kind of parallel the 5 freeway here, just on the north side of it. Now, if she goes straight, she has an option of getting onto the 5 freeway. She does not. She turns south right before the on-ramp to the 5 freeway northbound and is now going to be crossing over the 5 freeway and in towards, uh, we'll say, the city of Commerce at this point, driving extremely erratically. We don't uh, know what the motivation here is, but we do know that uh, this is a low jack hit of a stolen vehicle uh, now coming in towards the city of Commerce. We're in a residential area. The LA County Sheriff's Department does have an airship overhead, and they are monitoring the situation here. We do not have anyone on the ground who is close enough, uh, who is in close enough proximity to stay with this person at this point. We understood at the point that they attempted to make a stop in the El Monte area. One sheriff's air, uh, one sheriff's uh, unit was on the ground. They attempted to stop, and they fled. And so. Um, at this point, now moving westbound, just on the north side of the Commerce Rail Yard here in a residential neighborhood uh, on the south side of the five, moving in towards, uh, say, the Vernon area now, guys. 
Yeah, extremely difficult to watch for many reasons. Again, uh, the only highlight in this situation is the fact that, as we mentioned, it's Veterans Day, so there aren't quite as many people out on the roads today. A lot of schools, of course, uh, are closed okay. as well, but we're seeing you know, bicyclists next to these people. We've seen people walking across the street and so many close calls. It is uh, really awful to watch, uh, and especially knowing there is a passenger. We don't know if the passenger in this vehicle is an adult or a child or is there yeah, against his or her will uh, or is complicit in what apparently is a stolen vehicle. This coming in as a, uh, a LoJack uh, uh, case. Uh, Mark, uh, it, the, the locators keep changing because this vehicle is moving so quickly. We want to try to warn folks, uh, at least in the direction that this car is moving, where are you now? We are just uh, in the city of Commerce heading towards Vernon, uh, westbound on a, uh, a fairly uh, industrial area here. It was westbound on Union Pacific Avenue. The person just made a southbound turn, and they are going to be in a position where they might not. Uh, uh, it's going to be a little bit convoluted here because uh, this person is basically working uh, himself or herself into a situation where uh, there are fewer and fewer options. If she or he proceeds southbound, they're going to come up on the Commerce Rail Yard, and they are not going to be able to proceed any farther south now uh coming up on a t intersection here uh, it's either a left turn or a right turn here so it looks like it's going to be a right turn and again just on the north side of the commerce rail yard is where we are it's on a frontage road in a prime Primarily industrial area here. There are some mixed uh, uh, areas of homes and uh, industrial uh, use type buildings here coming up on slower traffic. Let's see what uh, let's see what the person does. You know, initially we thought that it might be a female driver, and that's why I'm uh, kind of referencing it in this way. We thought it might have been a female driver by the look uh, that we had a few minutes oh. ago. Oh my God! Okay, so I swiped that car. That car hit parked cars. Okay. Uh, that is uh, just uh, one of uh, a couple of accidents that we've seen this person cause here now. Uh, we're up on the main street again. I did, thank you. We're just up on the main street again and uh, moving northbound essentially over towards uh, the 5 freeway here. And This person is traveling at an ex uh, exceptionally high rate of speed given the conditions here. We're talking about some narrow streets, uh, some slower traffic, some pedestrians that are in the road. So definitely a hazard uh, to many of the folks who are in the neighborhood here. Just coming up on the major here, it looks like he or she is going to be making the left turn over towards, uh, say, uh, Soto Street is going to be the next major north-south as this person uh, makes their way westbound. Now, slower traffic is what uh, this person is encountering at this point. What is it going to do? Is it going to try and weave around it uh, in that center median of traffic? Uh, we don't know. It looks like that is going to be the case. Uh, no units on the ground is what I should uh, mention here. No units on the ground at this point. Uh, they are being tracked by uh, uh, several helicopters at this point. Sheriff's Air 7 is uh, the closest one to them right now. Coming up on Soto Street in another block and a half. Sears Soto is where we are, the located the famous Sears building, uh, located right at the intersection of Soto. Soto Street, and it uh, looks like they're going to be coming up on that here in just about half a block, the major intersection. Let's see what this person chooses to do. Oh, oh my gosh, a pedestrian. Okay. Goodness. Wow. Yeah, that is uh, very scary here as this person now turns northbound, northbound on Soto Street over towards uh, the 5 Freeway is where we are now headed here. So we've seen some very scary moments here. We've actually seen contact with a couple of cars already, but again, moving northbound on Soto, we'll be mm -hmm. coming up on the intersection of the 10 Freeway and the 5 in just about a block or so. Guys? Painful to watch. Uh, and. It's oh, they're going the wrong way now on that uh, side of the street there. Let's hope yeah. that uh, Opposing no one comes. Opposing lanes of traffic at this point. Mark, I, I yeah, just this is a, where where are we headed right now. We're obviously in the wrong direction, going right onto the freeway. Yeah, uh, we're on Soto Street, uh, coming right through the East LA interchange. Soto Street oh, northbound. We'll be now coming into the Boyle Heights oh. area as the person shifts back into the proper lanes of traffic. Northbound on Soto, just out of the East LA uh, interchange, and uh, we will be uh, tracking this vehicle here uh, as he approaches 6th Street and uh, moving northbound. So continuing to move northbound. Soto is a major intersection or a major street that uh, well runs the length of the East LA area and the Boyle Heights area here. If he stays on Soto north. Northbound, uh, potentially another couple of miles, he'll be up on the 10 freeway over towards, uh, say, County General, and uh, that is uh, apparently where we are headed at this point. Uh, again, moving just northbound on Soto Street, uh, very evasively here. So, uh, yeah, just some very dangerous situations. We've made contact with a couple of cars. We've almost hit a couple of pedestrians here, and now uh, the person uh, making their way over to the right lane of traffic here, over towards what I believe to be 4th Street, and uh, yeah, that's going to be 4th Street as they make their way westbound. A left turn westbound over to 4th. They'll be coming up on the north 
north side of Hollenbeck Park here shortly, and that means uh, the 5 freeway, the 101 freeway potentially here. So uh, again, moving westbound, they're just coming up on the north border of Hollenbeck Park. Hollenbeck Park is the park that borders uh, the 5 freeway just on the east side of it, coming out of the East LA interchange. So there it is, uh, that car slowing down for uh, an intersection here on Opportunity. In fact, again, on the freeway, he's going to stay uh, on 4th Street, underneath the 5 freeway. He'll be coming out here shortly, and uh, again, he'll be on 4th Street, making their way westbound in another block or so. He'll be crossing over the 101 freeway and in towards downtown. Now, Mark, I, a lot of times you have a really clear idea of how fast this driver is going. Can you give us any sort of estimate throughout this pursuit so far? You know what, I would, uh, I would uh, at the very least estimate on surface streets 50 to 60 miles an hour, and uh, the only thing slowing this guy down is uh, the fact that there's slower traffic and pedestrians. You saw there was a little bit of hesitation uh, at the point of Olympic and uh, Atlantic, I think it was what it was, where that person came up on, a, on an intersection and there was a car in front, and uh, there was a little bit of reluctance to push that car out of the way, but uh, you, see, you saw in the end as that car moved forward, he did in fact push that car out of the way, but uh, you know, there is a, a, a certain level of desperation at this point. This person just continues to run 4th Street right across the 4th Street Bridge over the LA River and now we will be moving in towards downtown LA, Little Tokyo, and uh, that is kind of where we are headed right now. We'll be coming up on the intersection of 4th and Alameda in another couple of blocks here. So moving into uh, kind of the business district here now at J-Town, uh, westbound on 4th, and we're uh, just kind of continuing uh, to move in towards the downtown LA area. So uh, again, no uh, ground units that I can see at this point. The LA County Sheriff's Department still has uh, their air unit overhead. We'll be coming up on an intersection here shortly. I believe that's going to be Alameda and uh, slower traffic. In fact, traffic waiting at the red light and he's going to kind of make their way over to the right lane and uh, possibly a move to the north. No, we're going to continue westbound. So in towards the business district, as they call it, uh, we are just coming up on uh, uh, Little Tokyo here and uh, just uh, there you go. We're having a look at uh, this guy just evade uh, all efforts uh, to slow down and give up at this point, guys. And uh, you, you would hope at some point that this driver would uh, recognize that there are no ground units in, uh, in pursuit and would slow down. That's the whole point of uh, these officers and the deputies from the L.A. County Sheriff's Department uh, uh, not tracking very closely to try to de-escalate the situation. Clearly, this driver uh, not responding to that and putting so many people at risk uh, through uh, oh his or her uh, oh uh, driving okay, actions. Turn southbound. Um, you have to wonder if at some point the LAPD or, or another agency will uh, take up a closer pursuit to try to end this because this is so dangerous. Now right in, the, in, in downtown Just LA as we right can up. see. Are you in the, in the area still in the, uh, the uh, okay. little Tokyo area or where is this? Uh, Frank, we have left the Little Tokyo district, and uh, he made a left turn southbound, so either on Hope or Spring is where I think he is at uh, at this point. Uh, we kind of lost track of him as he kind of went through the buildings here, so we'll try and uh, we'll try and re reacquire him. But maybe that was part of the strategy. Maybe that was uh, the strategy, knowing that uh, the airships uh, were the only ones above, uh, maybe uh, behind the cover of some of the buildings. Uh, that uh, was their plan to try and get away, utilizing that uh, kind of method here. I can tell you that the Sheriff's Department helicopter is overhead. They are kind of tracking this thing, and hopefully they haven't lost sight of it. But uh, indeed, turning southbound on either Spring or Hope, uh, we seem to have lost a uh, uh, sight of the vehicle for the moment. Guys. Yeah, probably uh, that's not going to happen for too much longer. We will, uh, I'm sure, be able to find him at this point. I want to go ahead and uh, give folks more information if you're just joining us about what we're looking at. Uh, a stolen car, Thanks, reports of a stolen car probably about 30 minutes or so ago. This apparently started in the El Monte area. We do believe there yeah, are at least uh, two, two people yeah. inside that car, one driver, one passenger. We've seen the driver uh, on the cell phone for much of this pursuit throughout the morning, but just being extremely, extremely reckless. The video on the right uh, you're looking at right now is from a little bit earlier going through several neighborhoods coming very close to pedestrians bicyclists uh, hitting several cars along the way just an extremely dangerous situation it is indeed and now this, this is the live picture here of downtown LA where uh, the car may have stopped may have uh, uh, 
uh, gone someplace into a parking structure. Let's hope that that is the case. Let's hope that uh, that the person is trying to escape on foot at this point. Uh, we will obviously have Mark Cono continue to track this uh, until uh, we find out how it has ended or uh, until the uh, uh, we have reacquired the pursuit, if it's still ongoing. But again, if you're in downtown Los Angeles, uh, and and uh, you're going to be out on the road. Just be aware of this situation. A, an extremely dangerous uh, person uh, driving through the streets there, uh, pursued by by police. All right, uh, eight fifteen is the time. Let's get a check of our weather. And hey, fives over the one ten and third. Uh, we're at thousand five hundred. Could that be uh, under the bridge, under that curly Q bridge, just approaching the inner uh, to the right, to the right. Right there. Oh. I, I don't see half of that stuff. Uh, hope and... No. Hey, Alberto, if you, uh, if you by chance get any, uh, get anything on it, let me know. I copy. Thank you, sir. Yeah, air, airship. As soon as it lost, as soon as they lost, it peeled off, and that was it. So, okay. And a wild pursuit through Los Angeles County. The female suspect hit other vehicles and then drove on the wrong side of the street. She then ditched her car and slipped away from officers. KTLA 5's Courtney Friel is live in downtown Los Angeles with more. Courtney. And Lou, it is extremely rare that a police pursuit ends and the suspect actually gets away as what is what happened in this case. But unfortunately, what's all too common in these police pursuits is that the people whose property was damaged during the pursuit, they end up footing the bill. Sky 5 capturing this morning's police pursuit from up above, which started at 7.48 a.m. after El Monte police got a lowjack hit about a stolen gray Toyota. When officers locate the vehicle, the female driver inside takes off, driving erratically, racking up violations, and even rams into this white Ford, which then clips other cars along Emory Street. Martin Lopez witnessed it all. I was looking at the helicopters, and then um, I seen a car speeding, and the guy decided to just like just go over the like push it to the side and he just went around her and took off. I asked her if she was alright and she was just very scary. 
And that 22-year-old woman was too emotional to speak with us on camera, but told me she doesn't even know how she'll get to work tomorrow and is afraid her parents will be mad, even though it's not her fault. Juan Aguilar and Jose Rios told me in Spanish they were working when someone ran inside and told them their cars had been hit. They don't know if insurance will pay for the damage. Meantime, the driver suspect heads downtown and at 8.13 a.m. she ditches the running car on Figueroa, where police then lose track of her. LAPD officers impound the Toyota and determine it was cold-plated, meaning another license plate had been attached on to this car. LAPD's Central Division has taken over uh, investigating this incident, which right now they're just calling a property crime. However, they are welcoming any tips if you happen to know who this driver is or where she is at. As for the people whose cars were damaged, I asked about that, and all they said was hopefully they have insurance, and they recommend that everyone in Los Angeles have full coverage. Reporting live in downtown LA, I'm Courtney Friel. I'll send it back to you. All right, Courtney, good advice there in an unfortunate situation. Yeah, really unfortunate and not.